does the thought of being on camera make you nervous? A little apprehensive, terrify you perhaps? Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net and a phone blogger.net. And we design video socials to allow you a safe place to work through that nervousness. There's a lot of causes for it. Everything from self-esteem concerns, what I look like, what I sound like, what how people are going to judge me, all the way through to not feeling fully prepared or knowing what's the best way to present or the best ideas to get across. There's a myriad of things to be nervous about. And that's what typically stops us. That's why we created video socials because it's a safe place to practice. You're in a room full of others just like you that are practicing and learning while doing. So in other words, we get on camera, it's your recording. You do with it what, what you want. If you want to delete it, delete it. If you want to learn from it and, and practice and use it for some, use it as, as a outline for what you might do for next time around, you can do that. If you've done a couple of practices and, it's, and it came across great, well then wonderful. You can now post it and using our software to do so. The whole point that I wanted to get across is, is that don't let your anxiety, concerns, et cetera, et cetera, stop you from doing what you know you need to be doing, which is videos, so that you can get them on social media, so that you can build your brand and you can connect with an audience, so that you can connect with those that might want to do business with you and or refer business to you. 35 years ago, I stood up in a Toastmasters uh, meeting for the first time and for the first time ever tried to present anything to a group of more than one. And uh, I had an anxiety attack and, and thought I was going to pass out. A year later, I was the president of the group and we had launched two other Toastmasters clubs. It was all about having practice in a safe space and, and learning to manage and deal with and get out of the way those things that I was nervous about. And then as time went by, and it didn't take very long really, as time went by, I learned just to be myself and that it was okay to be myself because if I tried to be anybody else, that's inauthentic. So in learning to work through that feeling or concern over being vulnerable, uh, to others, it's really no different than if you can sit across the desk from someone and have a conversation with them, you can do video. It just takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of direction. I hope you found that valuable. If you did, there's lots more at videosocials.net forward slash academy, and there'll be a link below for that. Again, I'm Mark Bullock, the co-founder of videosocials.net. Have a great day.